electricity meter. This one is made by Landis and Guy. Model number CL147H. The H is a suffix for an anti-reverse device. As such, this meter cannot be reversed. Okay, so it's one way only. The characteristics for this one are single phase two wire. 240 volts, 50 hertz alternation frequency. Loading capacity is 20 to 80 amps. It's a class 2. And the load wheel speed for this one is 150 revolutions per kilowatt hour. Let's zoom in on specification plate then and have a look at this one. This electricity meter was first calibrated and put into service in 1989. There it is then. As per the serial number L89A, the 89 indicates the first year that this electricity meter was put into service. There is also a little sticky label on the display window there, which says on it Certified U 0389. Interestingly, this one also shows a month, which is the 03, so it was calibrated in March 1989. This meter uses a straight row numbers readout which makes for an easy reading and as such this electricity meter is currently displaying 42,632. This electricity meter utilizes a rapid rollover between the red number and the white number in the one box. For those who know, for those who know how one of these works you will know that when the zero comes around in the red box the center of the zero is hollowed out and you can see in there that a little uh, indicator pops up inside the zero and as it does so the white number in the ones box rapidly jumps up to the next number This electricity meter that I have here in front of the camera is one of two. Uh, I can't seem to find the other one. I've got a feeling I've boxed it and put it away to preserve it. But that one that you can see there, it is a little unfortunate that when it arrived, it had uh, taken a knock and a bump during the postal uh, transition. And the top of the case has got a, like a split in it. I did complain to the person that sent it and it was very lucky that they had a few of those and they sent me a replacement one which arrived in tip top condition and has been since put away and preserved. I've got a feeling I've put it away and preserved it but that one uh, it's got a split in the case and will require attention. It still has its original anti tamper seals on it, as can be seen to the left and the right of this electricity meter. There's the original anti tamper seals. This one utilizes a stiff steel wire with a tubular section, and when that's put on and crimped, it then embosses a, a number into that little tubular section. There's another one to the other side of the electricity meter as well. There it is. I'm not sure if this camera can zoom enough so that we can see the embossing on the uh, little tubular section there. But you can see some markings on it. And unfortunately we're too far away that the camera can't zoom on it. What I can do is I can zoom right the way out and then get the camera right up to it. So that you can see that uh, the embossing on, I'm not sure if that will.
probably not. That focus is all over the place. I can probably select. Um, I don't know if I can do manual focus. No, we zoomed in too far on that. Let's try and uh, do the other one on the other side because it's got lights on it. So that may assist with the focusing. No, it's just not getting on that. But uh, you can see that there is an embossing in that little anti tamper seal anyway. And there's normally a, a unique identifying number stamped into that. And there's probably a record of that kept at the metering office. So that uh, they know when it was calibrated and for anti-tampering reasons. A little bit later on in another video, I would like to get that one in front of the camera again. We should power it up and we should have a little load going on that so we can see the load wheel going around in there. And also it would be nice to catalogue it on camera of the number in the red box coming around to the zero and having a little red indicator pop up inside the little aperture of the hollowed out zero so that you can see a rapid advance take place. Well, I'd like to say thanks for tuning in to watch this one. As and when I can, I will get more electricity meter videos on the channel. What you're looking at there then is a Landis and Guy CL147H. Thanks for watching.